What's going on, guys? Welcome to one of the last few Dominaria drafts we'll be doing on magicthegathering.internet slash United States of Freedom. I'll be your host, the Untamed Kavu, and I'm here today with the entirety of the World Wide Web. I'm going to take this Untamed Kavu, speaking of which, because it's single color, and I think it's about on par with, with Shana. Shana na 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 na. And, uh, of course, in our hope, in our heart of hearts, we hope that we would open, like, a Tefri or something on our last day. Have a nice, cool, cool mythic opening. But, you know, we get Mirari Conjecture, so that's, that's a card. So I'll just take this guy and, eh, no, nah, Elfheim drew it. Uh, there you go. You, you gotta get excited about the uncommon, the uncommon synergies that you can build around here on Magic the Gathering Online. Uh, rather than, I guess there's a Danatha in here, too, which might actually be better. Which of these ladies are we taking? Oh boy. Also, I got a headache, which is affecting my neck. My, my, I got a crick in my neck. I don't have a crick in my neck, but it's making me, like, I don't know. Body's weird. What do we take? Danatha or Elfame? Elfame keeps us on green and helps us with this kicker. But this card is choice. Yeah, we did get one Karn. Out of 60 something drafts, we got one. We got one Mythic. That's a good, that's a good rate. 180 packs, one Karn. No Tefri. I don't know. This is hard. It might just be Elfame Druid. I think Elfame Druid is better. Keeps us on color. Now we got Crossand Druid or Gift of Growth. I like Crossand Druid a little better, especially with the Elfame Druid. Avon Sentry is also good, but still not a reason to go into white. So I'll just take the green dude. And now this is a better reason to go into white. Yeah, I think Shauna's better. We are on that. We are on course to be in Druid Tribal. That is true. Hey, Lich's Mastery. All right. Well, this pack's pretty rough. The only card I could actually see us playing would be like Coldwater Snapper. Lanor Scout's not terrible, but Snapper is at least pl well playable. And we don't actually have to be white here, so we'll see. We shall see. Guardians. Lanor Envoy, not terrible. I wish this could bounce a creature instead. I'd love to return like one of these, like Crossand Druid and kick it again. That'd be cool. I'm just gonna take the Envoy. I think two threes are better than three twos in this format, but whatever. Three two for three is still fine. Yeah, not the look. Ancient Animus. Also, Pegasus Courser, if we are indeed white. This could be pretty good, especially with Untamed Kavu or Shauna. I'm going to take the Pegasus Courser. Oh, call the cavalry. A card I am more excited about than most, I believe, but still a card we're going to take. Oh, Sergeant Arms. All right, so we're just a green-white tokens deck yet again, and I'm okay with it. Also, Sergeant Arms significantly better with an Elfheim Druid. That's a turn four Sergeant kicked. Pernicious Dude, consistently impressed with your with your musical references here. These cards are super exciting.
Man, it's a lot of sparring constructs. This is pretty good. I'm okay with this pack one so far. <laughs> Josh, that's exactly what it is. I don't know how you got it correct so quickly. That was amazing. That's the exact thing it is. This is a hearthstone.comagawa.online stream with my host, Twitch chat. That's amazing. It's clear you've been watching the stream for too long. Oh, there it is. There's the money card we're looking for. Daring Archaeologist. The sickest. Which is actually probably just worse than Baloth Gorger at this point. So we're going to take the Gorger. We're going to pick one. The Baloth Gorger. And then we're going to keep our fingers crossed that our opponent... Uh, not our, I always say our opponent. The guy that's passing to us opened... Uh, Karn Foil Teferi. Will I be drafting Vintage Shiba tomorrow? Daniel, please. Much as I'd like this Knight of Grace or this Sapperling Migration, I'm going to take this Danatha. And I'm not going to look back. Wizard's Lightning is good. Cloud Reader Sphinx is good. We have a Crosan Druid. I don't think that's good enough to splash. Actually, I might just want the Adamant Will. We don't have any tricks yet. I like having an Adamant Will. Is it up this time tomorrow? Yeah, of course it is. It, it goes up. They go up the same time it always goes up, which is like after downtime. This is not Vintage Cube because it doesn't. it's not out right now. It's impossible to draft things on Magic Online when they are not available yet. Um, I do like Lanowar Elf, but I actually might like Mammoth Spider more. But I also think we could get a Mammoth Spider. I'm going to take Mammoth Spider because I think it's just a, a significantly better card. I, I was thinking of top decks when I picked this guy. I'm like, late in the game, this guy's going to be so much better. Corrosive Ooze is a reasonable 2-drop. What is this? What are these? What are these vintage cube references you guys are making? Did I say somewhere that I was drafting it today? Because that's strange to me. I'm going to take the Arvad. I think the Arvad is the stronger card. Because we can always splash it off Lana or Envoy. Oh, another Pegasus Charger. Courser, not Charger. That guy's not charging anywhere. <sighs> I want this Primordial Worm just because we have double Courser, but I think I'm just going to take this Unicorn because it is a solid pick always. Animus is actually very good with uh, Shauna and Danatha and Arvad if we play the Arvad. Hey, the Ancient Animus came back. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, that's a fight card. We're just going to take the fight card. Sergeant, you're good. This pack's actually very good for us. I don't think you said it today. We're just excited for it. Yeah, me too. Me too. I do like turn two Elfheim Druid and turn three Grow from the Ashes kicked. That's pretty strong. And the other creature we wanted to take came back. So the only thing we lost out of that pack was potentially the Blood Tallow Candle. Blood Hollow? Blood Hollow? I don't know. Oh, I'm always prepared for chat insisting we force storm. Every time. Also, Arvad's very good with double Ancient Animus. 
It's a four four lifelink death touch. Kills anything it hits. Gain life. Five and then a five five if you do it again. So. Thank you. Who do I? Thank you so much. Really appreciate the sub. Welcome. Yep. All right. Well, we were hoping we'd get something good, but not to be, ladies and gentlemen. Not to be. Not to be. Um, probably be that Gor Bailoth Gorger here. What up, Denmark? Yeah, I'm just going to say Gorger. There's nothing else in this pack that we really care about. I'll, I'd rather have Gorger number two than Corsair number three. Ooh, Seal Away is nice. All right. It pulled my leg. Ooh, Blessed Light? All right, I'll take that, too. Give me all the removals. I hope this Avon Sentry or this Call to Calvary comes back. I'll even take Broken Bond or Grow from the Ashes. Those, that's a good amount of... That's a good That's a good amount of... Uh, of potential coming back. Sha -na 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 And uh, I actually like Grow from the Ashes with the Arvad, so I'm going to take the Grow from the Ashes. The alternative is either a Charge or a Banalish Honor Guard. I don't think we're a Charge deck yet. <laughs> what up, Denmark? <laughs> oh, good times. Oh, a Baird. Oh, Woodland Cemetery is actually great for the Arvad, too. That's interesting. Although Baird is better for double ancient animus. And if we have Grow from the Ashes and in one swamp, we have Envoy, Swamp, and Grow from the Ashes, which is three sources for an Arvad. I think the Baird is probably better for the deck. I'll take the land. I don't... We have 16 creatures plus um, a call to cavalry. I don't think we're hurting for creatures here. The land is very useful. Same thing with Broken Bond. We have an Adamant Will. Otherwise, I would take the Gift of Growth. But Broken Bond is extremely versatile. And Pierce the Sky is exactly what else we wanted to see. That's pretty good. Another Adamant Will. All right. It's better than Honor Guard here. Sergeant at Arms. Number three. I don't see us playing number three, but... What if that Baird comes back? That'd be pretty cool, right? I have my doubts. Oh, another Broken Bond? Probably not going to play two Grow from the Ashes. I will play a Charge. Rather, I would have if I didn't have 23 cards exactly right now. This deck looks pretty reasonable. What's up, Stormblood? All right. So this is our deck, and it looks pretty solid. I'm, I'm, I'm sad we didn't get a green memorial, though. I think that would have really... Uh, Put our deck over the top. <laughs> oh, good times. All right, Woodland Cemetery comes in. 
one swamp, seven, eight, probably gonna go eight. So this is eight, eight, Ooh, two. That seems good. Um, so because it's Ben, he's probably right. <laughs> It's like, I actually don't have the gall to disagree with Ben because um, he's an unparalleled lim limited mind, but 4-4s four are still good. The problem is that there's a lot of like 2-3s and, and in the format, and the same reason that the 2-2s two are bad from like Call the Cavalry because of the 2-3s is the same reason Gorgeous is probably not great because you can just double block with two 2-3s. Two and the 8 mana to kick it is a little higher than you want it to be like if it was seven it's very reasonable but the difference between seven and eight mana is actually significantly high this is like the best hand ever if we top deck an elfheim druid i don't think we can lose wow twitch user account going deep there buddy I think that's perfect, beautiful curve. It's the most beautiful curve. I'm probably just blocking here. If you want to waste the Gift of Growth to kill a Corrosive Ooze and your turn, totally fine. Otherwise, we trade a 3-drop for a 2-drop. They get a 1-1. One, one. I'm okay with that. Oh, look at that guy. So the reason Sarah Angel's not that great is because you usually spend... F I mean, we actually witnessed it the other day. You usually spend five mana uh, to have it Gideon's approached. Gideon's reproached. I don't know. I think Sarah Angel's still good. Like, most cards are good if they don't have anything, right? But the, you gotta you got to draft in context. Really? What is even happening right now? All right. I'll trade. That seemed like a bad trade for them. For us, it seemed good. Sure. Sure. Get in there. I will definitely trade the. Look at all these. Look at all this value we're getting. We traded our Call of the Cavalry for a Land of War Elf, a Sapperling, and a Cabal Paladin. You got a little sniffer over here. What are you smelling, bud? Craisins? Are you smelling the craisins? Wow. Got a little reckless there. What did we hit? Oh, Dread Shade. Settle the score number two and a Fungal Infection. And there's no way you guys can tell me that... Ugh. We're going to have the, the randomness conversation again. It's totally a trap. Come 
One, two, three, four, five, six. This lets us play this guy for huge next turn. So we'll get another white and another green here. So they're just going to double block, which is fine because it gets the spider out of the way. Which makes all of these guys better. God, Adamant Will here would be just amazing. All right, and I think we're good on the land front. I think nine is probably the, the where I want to be. What comes after Dom Drafts? Uh, vintage Cube tomorrow. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh. 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 That's where they just eviscerate. And then we're actually surprised at how far behind we are because we're like, what happened? We were doing so well. We were actually doing quite well and then we drew a million lands, so. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wow, this has been very good for you. I guess we can wait on that and just attack here. What kind of world would make a pen and gun to me? I mean, it's a two turn clock, so they just chump here. We take, they take six, and then we just have to literally have the to top deck removal spell. So that's pretty cool. We were doing great, and then they just played two flyers, and we drew one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven lands to their six lands. I guess they drew two land of war elves, though, and we drew grow from the ashes. Yep, all right, that'll do. Wow, I have no idea how we lost that game. I guess they played one flyer, and then they played one more flyer, and then we didn't win. Impressive, to say the least. This hand seems okay. Wow, Adventurous Impulse and Memorial in the deck. I'm presuming we can get a land. I think we're I think we're doing okay.
magic. It's a game. It's a game, all right. Here we go. That's a dude. Land. Not a land. This turn should be okay, though. Here comes Santa Claus, I'm Santa Claus, riding down Santa Claus Lane, doodle -doo. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, riding down Santa Claus Lane, doodle -doo. Yep. Here we are wishing this guy was legendary so that we could, you know, do the thing. Because Santa Claus comes so high. Well, today's the Christmas music because their name is literally Santa Claus, so that's weird. Oh, look. How nice. Fashion late to the party. Two, three, four, five. That seems fine. They have three cards? All right. We'll just get there with this Arvad. No big deal. Oh, that dude's dead. Which is nice. It's a good feeling to kill it. Double memorial dot deck? Woo! That's pretty good. Get that Urgros back. Oh, we drew a land, so that's cool. Our deck seemed good. Turns out it was not. Come on. Oh boy. Did I mention that I'm, uh, 
I'm about done with this format. I might have mentioned that. Cool. And then they just triple block, we get to kill one and one. Okay. Hmm. Online Monopoly, huh? Well, that sounds good. And of course, you got the Urgaros back. Yeah, we can't do anything in this matchup. This is actually just miserable. <laughs> yeah, we might actually need the charge in the main deck, actually. I'm just going to save it like this because we have a lot of mana sources. Interestingly enough, like... Our deck is just ground stalls. So when they have a flyer that goes overhead or a way to beat our ground stall. It's pretty rough. I definitely don't think Dominaria is trash, but... Mr. Rogers, what's going on, buddy? How are you doing? Won't you be my neighbor? In decks like these, Adamant Will and Gifts of Growth are either removal spells or counter spells is the really really the thing. Uh, I'm going to keep this. Any white is great for Danitha. We have eight white sources and 34 cards. It's almost 25%. And it just goes up over the next two turns. We did it. The next set is Core 19, yes. I agree with you. If we opened actually cool rares, the form would be great. But... Watch, they're going to play Untamed Kavu. Get ready. They did not. Well, we didn't draw land, so that's unfortunate. Real tempted to kill this guy, but then if they have any pump spell in the white black deck, Gideon's Reproach. Oh, the post combat Gideon's Reproach. Sure. Seems good.
Well, here we go. On Sarah's wings. I mean, it's going to be a two for one here, but. Do I just block this guy? Anything from them. Adamant will. Gift. It's just to eat our guy. I'll just take nine here. We've gained four, so it's like taking five, kind of. Sure. All these creatures are insanely big. I don't know what to do about that. Maybe I just need to stop drafting green and white. I think this archetype's not good anymore. I don't know what happened, but it's very clear that that's the case. We have Blessed Light and Seal Away to deal with that guy. Yeah, we'll just not do green-white next time. We'll aggressively avoid green-white. Interesting. This is where they give it like adamant will and then we just ex like totally blown out here. No, that was actually pretty okay, I guess. Where's my Arvad? Arvad, make a 5-5. Five, five. Easily trade with this guy. Seems good. Well, instead of going to 7, I'll just chump block this guy. How's that sound? Pretty good? Okay. Sure. Never don't have it. Followed by never actually have it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We can go to three lands. Three, four, five, six. We can triple block this guy, and then it can kill these two, and we get a two, three. They have no cards in hand. That's probably correct. So, presuming they didn't draw anything cool, we're basically trading Mammoth Spider and Soldier for this worm. Uh, it's the last day of Dom Drafts because tomorrow is the Vintage Cube. I mean, you can still draft Dominaria. Nope, nope, nope. Wrong one. This guy. All right. No harm in getting a swamp here and a forest. I 
So we attack, we just traded their 2 2. Doesn't seem great. I mean, ideally, they just draw nothing, right? It's pretty good, I guess. We'll just get in there and see what happens. Oh, new Karn and Vintage Cube? That's pretty cool. How are we still alive? I don't know. Oh, do you know if they added? No, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea what the list looks like, the Vintage Cube list. Wow, they didn't even jump there. Me too. Both players gain 10 life. Seems good. Oh, that was good. Got a little land there. Oh, Spaghetti Toucher, get this. I actually took all the craisins out of their bag and I put them in a little Pyrex container, so... Uh, the crinkles may not be present any longer. Heavy breathing for Arvad. That's pretty good. Thankfully, this Bail of Gorger is basically an abyss at this point in the game. I just get to eat things. Is that Surveyor worse than your Sapperling? Oh, I'm sorry you can't fangirl over me in Vegas, buddy. That is unfortunate. Well, that guy's obnoxious, but not terrifying. This is a bad trade. This is a bad trade. So I guess just this guy's getting in there. Holds back two of our creatures. That is a solid draw, despite being only a two drop. Oh, your Gift of Growth is the last card in hand. Or you have a Gideon's Reproach. One of the two. Absolutely amazing. I have no words. Just incredible.
Those were good draws. I'm going to assume we just draw a forest on turn two. It's going to be a woodland cemetery. Nice. Sometimes the magic gods smile upon you while they laugh. I think we actually just go Shauna here and uh, Sergeant at Arms next turn for a real big Shauna. Vicious Offering. Hmm, it's actually pretty good. For us, I mean. For the first time ever. Uh, I don't think we're going to do it, though. There's no real reason here. She's got the look. What kind of bird would make the bed at you? Almost worth adamant willing this. Almost. <sighs> but not quite. The problem with this is they can sack this and this to get this guy back, which is a lot of time. And if we try to Ancient Animus in response, they sack both of these to get Sap Herd back, which is basically just replacing Whisper with Sap Herd. I still think we just have, we just deal with it for now. Killing the Whisper in response just gets back. It just replaces Whisper with Sap Herd, which is not ideal. Single elimination drafts? That seems terrible. Like, there seems like there's... I I mean, how many subscribers would it take? I mean, considering I do like two to three drafts a day, like... I don't know, losing in the first round is pretty pretty common. Like, I mean, it happens. Like, what if your, your first round is the worst round rather than the third round? Like, that's just not fun to have happen. So then you're out $15 for $12, whatever, for just for some suspense, it seems... Not ideal. Yeah, definitely going to be drafting after this. It's only, it's still early. I mean, I assume they're going to do the same thing. They're going to sack Whisper and the Sapperling to, uh... Yep, to get back the yeah, my Yeah, which is just... It's fine. It is what it is.
my hair is definitely going the same swoosh way. Our opponent said good game after they played Karn, I assume. <laughs> like, was it a good game? My sw I only swoosh one way, bro. Oh, looks like it's party time, because Par Partic Wander. Get it? All of these things. I don't really want you to block with these two, but I guess that'd be fine if you did that. Sure. Yep, that's actually better. Try to shine for a park wanderer. She's done her job. Plus, like, you want to keep their board small. Like, you don't want them to get too out of control, because then you just can't win. They have three cards. We have one land. So, I was... That's, like, blockers for days. Three, four, five, six... Whisper and Gorger. Yeah, that's hard to deal with. Stuff like that is just hard to deal with. Yep. Your own gorger. This is a situation where one charge is actually pretty impressive. So now they have Whisper and one other card in hand. Now two other cards. Now still one other card. They played a land. Okay, that knight is actually three, four, five, six. Surprisingly problematic. Come on, dude. They've drawn like gas after gas after gas. That's true. 25 creatures and I would not be drawing as many as many lands. That is a good point. Okay. Seems good. Okay. Uh this is about the time where they top deck Karn, I presume. Oh, no, just 7-6. NBD. Oh, 
Oh boy, this is a game, huh? I mean, we haven't drawn that many more lands than they have, but their card quality has been better. That's fairly obnoxious. It's not terrible. It's not great, though, either. You never call or write anywhere on messages, phone calls, and texts unanswered. I really don't know why you're forsaking me in your life. Forsaking you. You're going to read 20 or 30 more times. I'm going to be done with you. Maybe. When has that even happened? Why are you the way that you are? Brian, thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> the dear, Brian's dear John letter. Pardic Wanderer, eh? Who did they sacrifice? Just some sappy, sappy boys? Can I get a green here? I don't even care about the man anymore. Just kill this thing. Thank you. Quacker with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Alan, 29 months in a row. That's pretty good. Yes, I don't care. I like they did all of that at the end of our turn. Four, five, six. I like that we can trade all of these for this one primordial worm. That's pretty good. Alan, good luck on your exam, buddy. Only have one card in hand. It's reasonable. I'm just going to chump block here and assume that we'll draw something good. Ready? That's surprisingly good. We just need two more turns after this one. And they can gain four life, so that would put them at 14, which doesn't change our clock. But they get to draw three cards, four cards before then. Two from here, two from here, and then two for the two turns, this turn and the next turn. Well, that is a thing, isn't it? Hmm. 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 Well, we definitely got some battles here. Broken Bond could come in because of this Wanderer and this Fungal Plots. Whoa. The aggression is so real here. Block one, block two, block three block four. We're going to try to get these off the board because then you have to actually sack most of them. Pegasus Corsair is probably a bad block. Because if they have Gideon's Reproach... I mean, like, they just kill it next turn with Gideon's Reproach anyway, so... 
They also don't have... Well, they have white because of this guy, but... Is that big boy going to fly over on that beautiful flying chicken and win you the game? Yeah, I hope so as well. All right, so they got all they got rid of all their guys. That's cool. We have a second courser in our deck. All right, we're out of combat, so courser lived. No more creatures in the graveyard. So what you have is what you what you what you have is what you get. One of them's a land. All right. No more third shift and a better job. What a time to be alive. Do I have a bomb in this deck? I mean, Pegasus Courser and Bailoth Gorge are a bomby. That's also pretty okay. Okay, I believe you jump in the line. Crack your body in time. Okay. I believe you. Yep, that's pretty good. God, the never God never don't have it has never been more true, right? They really never don't have it. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Oh, God. That was amazing. Um, I don't really want to draft this format anymore. I have zero desire to draft this format anymore. I think we've done about 65 drafts in total. And um, I feel like we learned a lot in the beginning. And then things changed a lot, which is interesting. I like when formats do that. Like, I like when formats can change. Um, however, I don't think this changed in a good way. It's very strange. It's hard to explain. Um, I feel like there became a very clear line between the very good cards in this format and the, the mediocre, you know, subpar, average cards in this format. And... Um, Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, it is. It is. It's still disheartening that out of sixty-five drafts, we only opened one history banalia and one Karn. That seems um, almost impressive. Like I almost, I almost want to commend Magic Online for uh, having such a ridiculous distribution. But um, you know, sixty-five was that one hundred ninety-five packs. It's a good amount. It's a good amount of packs. If I opened one hundred ninety-five packs in real life, which is the equivalent of what almost almost five boxes. Let's do some math here. 36 times 5. Over 5 boxes. If I opened over 5 boxes, I think I'm only going to talk to you from now on through donations. This should catch on because it always brightens the day when your favorite streamer speaks directly to you. So, hey, Frank, what's up? I don't upset you won't come to Core 9. I got, I got plans, buddy. I'm so sorry. Um, either way, thank you, Brian. Really appreciate it. Always appreciate the support. But yeah, if I opened over five boxes in real life, and I opened one Karn and one History of Benalia and zero Teferi, zero Lyra's, um, needless to say, I would be pretty upset. 
Uh, unfortunately, there's no way to open boxes on Magic Online. This is the equivalent of opening a box or a pack, right? Like the best you could open packs normally, but realistically, it's better to just open them in draft. But you know, each mythic is about one in 120, 121 packs. No, each mythic is like one in fourteen packs. One hundred and twenty-one packs. That sounds insane. That mean that means in every four boxes you'd get one Karn. That doesn't sound right at all, right? Not one in 14 packs, but, like, there's one Mythic in every 14 packs. So, I don't, I don't think that math works out, though. Like, you're, that would be saying, like, so if there's 10 Mythics, it'd be one in 140 packs or something, right? I don't know how the math works out, but that doesn't seem correct. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon, and you can find my Twitch link in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time for some Vintage Cube drafts.